to Antoinette's Kitchen, seasoned with love, simple ingredient, simple recipes. Today we're going to be making shrimp paparel. So the way we're going to do this is we're going to put fresh garlic, and remember garlic and parsley are the staple and olive oil to really, really good Italian cooking. So I have my plum tomatoes here. Okay, we've got our plum tomatoes waiting for the fresh garlic. We're gonna saute the San Marzano plum tomatoes that I've prepared. Some basil. Once that heats up, we're gonna put in the shrimp. Seasoned with a little olive oil, some salt and pepper. Now the shrimps are jumbo shrimps, but they don't need to be cooked a long time. We like to only cook them maybe five minutes because we don't want them to get overcooked. Shrimps are very delicate. So it's already boiling. We put in the shrimps. You can hear the sizzle. It's great. I'm going to cut in some fresh parsley. Yeah, this is a great recipe. Like, if you're coming home and you need to cook something right away, if you can't get fresh shrimp, Keep a frozen bag of shrimp in your freezer and a can of plum tomatoes, Marzano. If you can't get Marzano, San Marzano's, you can use any plum tomatoes. And of course, I always have parsley in the house and basil, fresh basil. And it's, it's literally simple and five minute recipe. This is something that you can do over the stove as soon as you come home from work or from a day, a busy day, whatever you're doing. I have the water boiling here. It's boiling and we're going to be putting in, I like this brand, it's from Italy, made in Italy. Everything I do is pretty authentic, uh, southern Italy cooking, these are fresh papadellas. So we're going to put these in, stir it in and again Papadella noodles cook really fast. Italian cooking loves salt, especially the water. Now with this shrimp, we're going to use white wine, Savon Blanc. You can use any type of white wine, Chardonnay, whatever. But we put a little white wine in this one and it's cooking up so nicely. It's just about almost done. Pretty simple. As Soon as the pasta is done, we put it over the pasta and we have another dish to add to our collection. And again, the ingredients and the preparation will be online, will be posted. The shrimps and the sauce. Some people like cheese when there's mixed with fish. Some people don't, so I leave that optional. But if you are gonna put grated Romano or Pecorino, Reggiamo or Logatelli, you can. We're gonna plate this now. That's the finished product. What did it take me all but 10 minutes. Like I said, we only put the shrimps, just a little, little five minute cooking, and it's so quick. It's gonna be a little messy to eat, but I'll manage. Mmm, so tasty. As you can see, the jumbo shrimps come down, so always get the largest shrimp possible. Mmm, tender. Bon appétit. 
so good. Thank you for coming to my kitchen today. Everything has been cooked and seasoned with love, passion, simple ingredient, simple recipe. Have a great day.